know why I'm so nervous, um, but I am. So it just feels weird because I'm talking to my iPad <laughs> while filming this. Um, like I said in my previous video, I don't have any fancy equipment. So I'm just using my iPad and hopefully <clears throat> my voice is coming across okay, that you can hear me and the lighting is okay. Right now, it's another rainy day in Northern California. We've had a bunch of rain. Um, it's just storm after storm. So it's really kind of hard to film when there's just not that much natural light coming through. But anyway, um, so here's my fourth video. And today, um, I would like to talk to you about um, more cross-stitching. So in my previous video, I mentioned that I ordered another owl cross-stitch pattern uh, kit. And it came and it was delivered yesterday. And um, I'm so happy, so happy to get started. But um, I think I'm going to hold off a little bit and wait until I finish the current project that I'm doing. I just really want to finish it by a deadline. So I, I have a deadline to finish. So it was delivered yesterday, and I have it here with me, and I'll share it with you. Um, I will open the bag off camera because I know the noise bothers some people, and it, it can get really noisy. So I'll cut, I'll edit it out. Okay, I'm back. So it, it comes with a tiny little picture of a finished project, and it's really small. You can barely see it. I actually should just bring it up on my phone. It'll probably show much better. So here it is, the photo. Sorry about the glare. It's beautiful, gorgeous. I ordered it from Amazon. And so I'll show you the, um, the pattern here. easy to read and then it's um, what did I say it was I think it's oh my gosh 11 count yeah I think it's 11 count <laughs> I'm still learning the color key is very clear. I can, I can see it really well. I can read it quite well. It's not blurry like one of my other ones. Uh, I was doing a Santa one and that I can show you how what the difference is. See this, the key here for the Santa is just not easy, easy to read can't see the numbers, but luckily I, I have a paper um, print. Okay, so, and here are the colors. So it's the red, beautiful blues, different shade of blues, just beautiful. Love it, and there's a lot. There's a lot. It's going to be a big project, and I can't wait to start. So it also came with four needles. That's four needles. And this little cutter here. And this 
I believe is to cut the um, thread like um, I'm not really sure what this is okay it's I believe you can go along and um, and cut and remove the thread so when I have to frog which I hate to do who does love to do that but um, when that when I have to do that I guess I'll use it for that what is this it's waxy I have no idea what this is used for maybe somebody can clue me in on what this is that would be great and um, a little I don't know what this is either <laughs> um, if you guys can tell me also that would be great um, and then it also comes with a needle threader. I think I know what the gold round thing is. I just, the name it escapes me. I just can't, uh, the thimble. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Next, I'm going to show you my finished project. I'm so happy I'm done. My my little fairy. There's a few errors in it, yes, but it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can't you you can't uh, find find them. So not really. I can't because I know where they are. But someone who doesn't will not notice it. So I have a story to tell. Um, I know I had said in my first video that, and if you've watched it, you know, um, <clears throat> I started uh, cross-stitching like years ago. Um, I tried the hobby and I made three projects and then I just quit. Why did I quit? Um, I had I had been crocheting for a very long time, so I I stopped crocheting to try the cross stitch, and uh, and I just missed the crocheting, and I didn't want to do both at the same time, so I went back to crocheting. I also did um, plastic canvas work, so I did things like um, in my last video I showed a. Uh, boutique Kleenex box cover that I made and um, and I made a dollhouse so if you want to watch that video I will link it in the description below I also made gift card holders this one's an Easter I made two Easter ones and you just put the um, the gift cards <laughs> the gift card in there and it makes a cute gift I made one for, um, I don't know, for Easter, for Easter, of course, and that's the back. So both were fun. Those are the only three that I have. I sold, I sold the others that I made. Um, I made this little, little basket. Plastic can it's made out of uh, plastic canvas, also, and I believe that's all I have here right now. Oh, and I have that. I have this that I made. A little bear, and um, I think that's it. Oh, and then I have that. That one too. It's also uh, another little bear. Okay, so I got off track. I started telling you a story and I got off track. Anyway, um, so those were the two hobbies that I was really into. So it was crochet and um, needlepoint on plastic canvas. Um, 
So, but I did try it, and um, and I made about three items, like I said. The last one, I had totally forgot about this project until the other day. I was cleaning out my closet, and in the way in the back of the closet, I had some things that have not been touched, boxes. And so I was looking through it because I was organizing and cleaning up. And I found, oh my gosh, this is so kind of embarrassing. But um, you might find it funny. I still don't find it funny because it was a sad day for me. Um, I was working on my fourth ever cross stitch project that was really big. Well, not really, really big, but big for me. And, um, and it had cost me quite a bit. I mean, I believe it was like $45, $50 for this project uh, kit. And um, I was really happy to start it and, and to get it done. And it was going to be a gift. Um, but so what happened was, as I was, um, this happened years ago, I was too also cleaning. Um, I was cleaning out my desk and I had a lot of papers and things that I had to get rid of. And I made a pile on my bed of, uh, of the paper, paper junk, magazines and whatnot um, for the trash and, and a pile to keep. Now, for some reason, don't remember, but for some reason I had my project on the bed as well with the blueprint on the bed and somehow some way it got into my junk pile I don't know how that happened but uh, I remember finding some documents and stuff that I wanted to throw away I didn't have a shredder so I put it on top of the junk pile and then I thought well I better just do it by hand go shred it good be throwing before throwing it out so I went and I um, I went and grabbed it. Little did I know, I was also grabbing the blueprint that was underneath that document. And I shredded it in half, and then I shredded it again. So before I noticed, my blueprint is in there. So yeah, I ripped up my blueprint. Sad, very sad. I was thinking about putting it together, but I didn't even, I didn't try. I didn't, I didn't tape it or anything like that. I just thought, no, nah, it's not going to work. But I did keep the pieces. I was so frustrated and angry with myself that I just said, oh, forget it, and I put it to the side. So it's in pieces. Let's see. It's all in pieces, like quite a bit, several pieces. I wanted to cry, really. I wanted to cry. And um, <laughs> I had started it. Now, I'll show you what I started, but... Um, oh, gosh. It's really sad. <laughs> so here's the middle. I did all that. And then... And then for some reason, uh, I don't even remember why, but I started, I stopped working on the middle and started working on the top. And I'll show you what the finished product would have looked like if I continued and if I didn't um, shred that paper. It's the Chickadees and Lilacs kit, number 35258. So I think I bought this um, possibly at either Michael's or Joanne's Fabrics. And it's so beautiful. But um, I, let's see, I still do have the other half. So it comes in, in two halves. And I do have this half that's intact. It did not get uh, ripped up. 
but the other half is pretty much really ripped up. So I did get frustrated over that. I was upset, especially after the money that I paid for it. Oh. And then I think that also had a factor in why I decided to um, quit. And I didn't go back to it. I thought I would go back to it later, but I didn't. And here's the thread. I still have the thread. Um, but I just don't have the blueprint, that half of the blueprint. And I don't want to buy it because I kind of feel like, oh, you know, th at that point, then I would have spent $100 for this kit. And I don't know. Maybe someday I will, but um, not right now. After that sad story, <laughs> let's move on. Um, I'm currently doing the um, mom pattern. It's by Dimensions. It is um, a 14 count white Ada and it is a 5 by 7. So this is what it will look like. And I really like this one because I'm planning on um, writing something here uh, in, in memory of my mom who passed last year. And so um, I would like to get it done by January 25th. And this is what I have so far. Oops, that is the back. No, that is the front. <laughs> okay. And I got my glasses on, too. <laughs> this is the front. So, and I started in the middle, like suggested. And so, that's coming out okay. I haven't... I think I did so far maybe one or two mistakes and I had to frog a little bit, but not much. So I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. As far as cross stitch is concerned, that's all I have to share. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by, but if you want to see some of my other uh, Valentine creations, I have two things to share if you want to stick around. Um, well, a few doilies as well. And if you stick around, I, you'll see them. Um, the first will be my Valentine's doll here, crocheted. I had a lot of fun crocheting her. And if, um, if I find the link, I will share it in the description box below. She's ready for a sleepover. She's got her pillow. There's a little heart on it. cushion tree with a little heart on top there. These pins I ordered from Amazon. I don't know if you can see them really good, but I ordered them from Amazon a while ago. Maybe I'd say maybe four years ago. And they're losing their color. And I haven't had them in the sun. I just had it... Um, boxed away and still the um, the color just doesn't look as bright it's faded so I guess I won't be buying those pins again and these here are my doilies that I made for Valentine That little gal, I did not make it. I wish I can take credit for it, but it, I bought that somewhere. Just don't, I don't remember where, but I've had her for a very long, long time. She's really cute. 
I know I've watched a lot of videos of floss tubers and I really, really enjoy it and I will keep doing that. Um, I love to, to do my work and I've got you guys in the background. I'm listening, I'm watching all your projects and it's awesome. And I just love this floss tube community and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Thank you. Um, thank you again for stopping by and watching my video. If you liked, please consider liking the video and subscribing, hitting that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. And I so appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. You're all a great inspiration. You guys are an inspiration to me. I'll yeah. see you next time. Bye. Bloopers. <laughs> what is this? I know what this is. I just can't think of the name. Why does the name escape my mind? <laughs> What the heck is this? What is this? What is this? Is it to stick your needles in? Like a needle holder? Like a pin cushion? All series handmade needlework sewing of tools. Embroidery needle, embroidery thread, embroidery thumb, thimble, manual, needle, ball. Okay, but what's, what is this? What is this? I don't know. It's waxy. Let me know what this is if you guys know what it is. Hmm, maybe it has to do with the needles.